Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Chris Fitzsimon. Infectious d disease expert Dr. Tony Fauci warned the nation that vac even with vaccines, it would likely be late next year or into 2022 before we get back to some semblance of, of normalcy. Uh, how's that going to affect North Carolina? How are we going to cope? What changes do we need to make? We're all weary of this. Are we willing to do the things it's going to take to protect ourselves, John? I think people will be willing to wear masks. They will be willing to take some other precautions. I do not think that they will tolerate lengthy shut, you know, going significantly backwards. I don't think basically any population in the world is going to be tolerant of that for very long. And I think everybody, I frankly think Governor Cooper knows this. I think lots of public officials of both parties and in other countries all know that a lockdown type of response was a very brief sort of thing you could get away with. It's not something people can live with. It's not a sustainable policy. So I think there will be some changes. There might be some tightening here or there. Mainly, I think this is a personal responsibility question and getting back to uh, something that functions as a society uh, as quickly <laughs> as possible. we're familiar with, something that looks like what we're familiar with. Although Great Britain just uh, went back in... in repealed a lot of their... They did. Uh, they, they went into a heavy lockdown, but it will last a few weeks. It will not be lengthy. Chris, what do you think of this situation? Can, can well, Are we, we willing have, to uh, do what we need to do? Two, two points. One is I hope... I did see Great Britain and Ireland did it as well. I hope that they don't. we don't have to do that. If we do, it would have to be very short. But my, my, my worry is that we... Masks are still a political issue. And with all due respect, the Lock Foundation has written reports questioning whether or not masks are effective. We have, so that sends a weird message. We have political leaders in, in the United States, still a lot of them, still a lot of Republican political leaders tell people masks aren't effective, and we have people flouting the mask. The president had 125 people in a closed room in the White House election night. We have to have a unified message, or we are going to have to go to more draconian measures. Why can't we all agree on the basics and not make them pol political? I think more and more people are in agreement of that and, and well, understand. I wish that were true. Yeah, I, well, I'm not sure. Uh, there, there is some dispute about how uh, the, law, the, the size of the effect of, of mass. In my view, if, if it's a modest effect, do it. If it's a large effect, do it. Either way, do it. <laughs> Final word. Well, thank you for watching the After Spend. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspend.com.